Land Rover First 15 Rugby came to you from Porora Park today where the 2015 World Tech Premiership Final would be fought out between Scots College, the defending champions, and St. Pat's Town. JP Tocker, what a game it was. It was. St. Pat's Town did really well here, as they did all day. They cleaned ruck hard, quick ball's the key to here, and Nelson Murray, he's just done it a couple of times this year, managed to stretch out over the line when he gets close. And this is a great start from them. They're in going into the wind of the stage. And then Billy Proctor, who would be our Puma man of the match. There was a loose ball thrown by Scotts College inside their own quarter. And the centre was through under the post. Yeah, the St. Pat's Town line speed was fantastic all day. And they reaped the rewards on a couple of occasions when the ball went astray. And that time, Billy Proctor was there, like he was most of the day. And once again here also, you see Schultz is up quick, but so is Proctor. And he has got a lot of gas, Billy Proctor. He often plays at fullback. And he had a fantastic game today. And we'll just see it again. This would prove to be the crucial play in the game. Billy Proctor, as I said, he was our Puma MVP. Once he got into the backfield of the defence, he was too quick for the cover. His goal kicking was to the fore as well. He converted both the tries that he scored. And then there was a, a bit of a comeback from Scots College. Yeah, so Scots College on this occasion, they had stretched St. Pat's Town wide earlier on both sides of the park, and, and the numbers were lacking. Town were a little bit bunched, and Peter Munger Jansen had lots of, yeah, lots of opportunities today, and this time, just with that much space, no one's really going to get close to him, and he finished pretty easily. The inevitable comeback from Scots College was always going to be to the fore. And it was Alex Cannons down that left side. He offloaded to Saka, who thought he'd scored in the corner. And a look at the TMO confirmed that he was into touch before the offload was made. And as a result, the try was not awarded. St. Patrick's College, Wellington, for the first time in 20 years, crowned the champions. So Billy Proctor to the four. He got a double. Jack Nelson Murray, the captain, with their third try. Peter Umanga Jensen tried hard. Uh, but in the end, it was a very good win for St. Pat's Wellington in spite of being down to 14 men in the last 10 minutes. And the statistics, an interesting look. Yeah, well, if you look at the stats across the board, I mean, Scots College, they, they had the possession that they missed the least amount of tackles, but that first 20 minutes from St. Pat's Town really drove a few nails into the coffin. And the second half, Scots struggled to get back in. And at the end of the day, the scoreboard tells the story so it was a win for the ages it was a magnificent occasion for St Pat's Town it's been a long time coming JP Tocco an old boy it was with great pride we were here and great privilege it was to be a part of this 19 points very good win for St Pat's Town